This video will illustrate all of the moves for Heilongondo Sangsu Sword Form number 3. Number 3 differs from 1 and 2 in that 3 makes use of interspersed and slightly different footwork, while 1 is purely offensive and 2 makes good use of showing how to use def defense before offense. Number three shows you a lot of footwork you can use to get around your opponent or confuse their attacks and their defense. As always, starting from attention, the draw on number three is quite different. You will draw the sword straight up and then move the blade behind your shoulder and behind your head so you can pull it straight down into a right cut. Come back up and do a left cut. Then come straight up again, step forward and center cut, and step back and center cut. Next is some footwork. Very simple. Forward, forward, back. Here we will cross step and parry hard to our right, then cross step again, lift up, and center cut. Then more footwork, back and to the left. Here we'll lift the sword into a left head guard and turn 90 degrees to our right. Bring the sword down to Chihase then pull it back, step forward with the right foot into a sodose with a front cut. We'll turn 180 degrees towards our stomach side, head guard on the right, step again into a forward cut. Guard on the left head, chihase back, then step forward into a normal on guard. Again, footwork. Step to the left once, twice, thrice. Now the footwork's a little odd. Instead of a normal back step, we'll use the front foot first. Get up on the toes and then push back with the back foot. We do this twice and then we sheathe. A th sheathing technique for Sang Su 3 we move our index finger on our right hand over the top. We hold the sword when we drop the blade down. Wrap our fingers around so we're holding it back blade style and cut across as though we were going to aim for our opponent's throat. Then we sheathe. Whenever you finish a sword form, turn back to your original forward direction, which is where the judges or your master will be, and salute. Here we'll show a clearer view of the sheathing technique for Sang Su number three. Holding the sword in your right hand, move your index finger over the top and to the opposite side. You'll then drop the blade to your right side, holding the sword between your index finger and your middle finger. Your thumb will wrap around to what is now your left side, and your fingers will wrap around to the right side to join your index finger. From here, simply swipe it across in a horizontal cut, then place the back of the sword against your hand as we always do when sheathing.